Hello friends! I'm Martha Hull. I make cute and deadly art. And I'm in my studio today and I would like to give you a little tour. First I would like to show that I have dressed up for you and I am wearing my painting ball gown because it actually seems to work just as well as any other smock and why wouldn't you dress up for your art? So this is it. It's small but sufficient. There we go. And I am lucky enough to have a view of beautiful Burlington, Vermont. You can kind of see my lake view that I get when the trees fall, I mean the leaves fall. And I have three windows in my studio. This is a new thing for me this summer. I was working in a shared space with great people, but it was one of those summers where uh, yeah, I didn't want to see people. So I actually worked out of my house for a little while and that didn't work very well. And then I found this magical place. So quick and dirty tour. I've tried to put as many things as possible up high and I actually have a step stool that I use to get to them and use of mirrors and so on to try to help make it feel bigger. What's going on on this wall? This is a wall of thoughts and experiments. This table is getting more and more established in its spot, but the legs fold up, so I could theoretically tack very large pieces of art to this wall. And here's a couple just sort of self-portraits that uh, are large. Just to remind me that it's fun to work big and because they fill up the space so nicely. And then I have inspirational thoughts about seeing colors and shapes, because when I get in the zone, I can see things in my mind's eye in a way that I couldn't years ago when I was still newer at this. So it does come in time. This is where I've been working these days. I have two workstations. This one, actually I have three, I have this one, I have this one. This is where I do my acrylic paintings. And then I have this fold up Murphy table. That's a great spot if I just am willing to sacrifice the floor space because I have things that are drying or so on. When I'm bringing production work in here, I'll use that. If I ever want to say glue or coat things on a surface while I'm working over here, just gives me a lot of flexibility and takes up almost no space at all. I do love acrylic paintings and I'm really proud of how far I've come with them, but I also just haven't been in the mood for them. I brought a new chair to my studio and if I tuck both my feet up, it starts spinning on me and that's been a little frustrating. And I, uh, I think I also just got a little frustrated with having to pay my Cracker Jack photographer a very reasonable fee, but nevertheless, I would have to pay and wait to have my paintings digitized. This is my work on paper station, and uh, as well as whatever the heck else I wanna do. And this, once I finish it, I can bring it home. I have a pretty big scanner. I can clean it up in Photoshop if there are speckles or things and size it so that I can present uh, prints, cards, etc., magnets for sale to people so they can have high quality, affordable art right in their house. Here's a piece I'm working on. I don't like to show work in the process too much because you have no idea how good this is actually going to be when it's finished. It's so in the middle right now. Although I am having fun. I'm halfway through some, some dollar designs. So what do I do with these works on paper? I've been painting the background areas with a colored inks. And here's my beautiful new palette. I treated myself to a bunch of extra colors. Here's my colored pencils. I have pretty close to one of every color now. They are organized by category. Is this the ideal setup for them? Mm, well, no, but I'm still, everything is always a work in process. Um, I also, everything I do on paper is generally mixed media. 
Sometimes I use some acrylic gouaches. Sometimes I use some acrylic paint pens. And I haven't really spiffed up the studio too much for you, so you'll see a few unsorted things and so on and so on because, you know, that's a, it's a workspace. Here are thoughts and ideas on this. <laughs> it's a magnetic board and I'm mostly using post-it notes on it because there you go. And this is an area of storage and look, it's a red microwave. And then, oh, I am going to show you with my acrylics. I have miscellaneous paints and so on here. I got myself some neon inks too. But here's this uh, glamorous thing is where I keep my paints in. And I got a bunch of new ones. I talked to a friend who also paints and I've got a few new colors. So eventually, <coughs> excuse me, I am going to revise this. I'm afraid that once I start playing with the paints, it's gonna be all things paints. And honestly, <coughs> I am enjoying, I am enjoying this. This is new to me too. It's a tilting board. Sorry about my fingers, that's a hereditary thing. This board can tilt up or down. I've always worked on a flat surface and I'm trying to get smart about ergonomics these days. But I have palettes of like color layouts of all my various things that sometimes are really helpful and sometimes I forget and still just do little samples anyway, because you know, sometimes you want to water something down too. And last but not least, this is my thinking room. This is my thinking chair. And uh, I do have, and they're up higher than I like right now. I can barely see them from ground level, but I have a collection of ratty old dolls and I say that with love dolls don't don't worry about that sometimes I do talk to them but see they're my companions I never get lonely in my studio because I have muses I have companions this is pineapple she's my primary studio muse she's kind of a strange one she was not anything I would have picked out because she you know I don't normally go for the soft bodies or the ones that are dressed like fruit but she just came in a an eBay shipment of dolls back in art school and just kept getting tucked up in the corners of things. And look, she has stars in her eyes. So I like to think that kind of about me too. So I sit and I think, and I keep one of my new favorite paintings up above me on the wall here. And this is a spot where I sit and I draw and I think, and I can nap if I need to. So it's all, it's all good. I also have a home office. It's small. It's the second bedroom in our apartment and it's much less glamorous. It's great that I have it because I need it to do my job. I've got two large printers, stacks and stacks of paper and cards and prints and various display materials for when I go to conventions and other shows in normal years and normal times. So thank you for going on my studio tour with me. I, I hope it was remotely interesting. I could literally spend three solid days, two solid weeks walking around pointing out one little thing after. I could spend the rest of my life showing you the things in my studio, who am I kidding? But I am about to go work on uh, some art and brainstorm some new art and all the things that I do. So I feel very blessed to be here and I'm really excited that you've come and found my video and spent all this time with me. I wish I could see you in person next year. Um, but uh, there's, there's half of a heart. My whole heart's for you. And have a lovely everything.